All right, here we go. Game 82 of the regular season for the Vancouver Canucks. It's been a long road, but we're finally here. And today they took on the Winnipeg Jets, both teams without some of their best players, resting them up for the playoffs. The Winnipeg Jets without guys like Connor and Shifley, while the Canucks were without probably their best player this season and biggest offensive threat, Ian Cole. They were also missing JT Miller, Brock Besser, and Phil Hronik, but those guys really don't make that much of an impact. But anyways, as this was the last game of the season, not much to play for on either side other than Canadian bragging rights. I mean, it was a bit of a mare to watch, but yeah, we'll still go through the game, and then we have a couple things to talk about after. Starting off though now with the first period. So to start off this one, we have a line between Dakota Joshua, Elias Lindholm, and Connor Garland, and they absolutely go to work here. Lindholm in the corner, plays it out to Joshua, and then Joshua centers the puck. DeMello tries to clear it in the crease, but then it goes off of Connor Garland and finds its way by Bressois into the back of the net. The Canucks are up one to nothing. Later on, the Canucks have some good pressure here, a couple of good chances, Pod Coles, and just gets stopped there by Bressois. And then it's the Jets on the return who finally get themselves on the board. It's Gabe Velarde who kind of waits out Demko here for a nice goal. But really, this could have been prevented. This one was Lafferty's fault because he loses his guy and is kind of caught in no man's land here. Allows Velarde to have a clear path to the net and then have as much time as he wants against Demko. But it's alright. It's a meaningless game. But in the games that follow, something like that just can't happen. Anyways, 1-1. One one. Jets with a good chance, but Demko robs them. And then Hughes shoots one off the post as we end off all square. Early on in the second period, the Canucks can't get the puck deep. And then I don't know what we're doing, but we're caught on a bit of a sloppy line change. Three on one for the Jets. And it's Cole Perfetti who gets it by Demko to make it two to one for Winnipeg. And you know, I could sit here and complain about how we could have executed this a little bit better. But again, it's a meaningless game. I don't really care. So it's okay. Two one for the Jets. We keep moving forward. Oman has a bit at goal, but it's stopped by Brassois, and then Demko is looking sharp on the other end, robbing the Jets on a couple of chances to extend their lead. The Canucks get themselves a power play later on in the period, and it's Elias Lindholm who finally gets himself a goal there, nice tip, and redirects it home to make it 2-2. Good stuff right there. Susie also had himself a shot, and then Big Hog with the deflection, but it goes off of the post, and unfortunately does not go into the back of the net. So 2-2 is the way that the period ends. Let's move on now to the third. In the third, it's Nikita Shibrikov who gets one by Demko to get his first career NHL goal. Good for him. The Jets go up 3-2. And then at the end of the game here, the Canucks with an absolute mad scramble to try and get this one tied up. They have like five chances on goal. Pew Suter just can't get it by Brassois, who was actually playing pretty good in this one. As the Canucks were wearing down the Jets, they pull the goalie. Hughes has the puck here. And he tries to go cross crease, but it gets picked off there by Cole Perfetti. He has a shot at the empty net, and of course, he got it. So 4-2 for the Jets. They're going to win this game. And yeah, that's the way that the regular season ends for the Vancouver Canucks. They won the Pacific Division. They did quite well. So, like, what's next? Usually at this point in the season, the only thing to look forward to is the draft lottery. And then the Canucks usually lose the draft lottery, which makes me quite sad. And then we have the draft, free agency, and that's followed by preseason. So, you know, it's been a fun ride covering these games for you all, but wait a second. Did you guys hear that? Wait, no, 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 hold on. What was that? Wait a second. No! So I guess we're not done just yet. Playoff coverage starts on Sunday, get hyped up for that. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, your series predictions for the Vancouver Canucks and the Nashville Predators. Hey Amen. it's finally that time. We've been looking forward to it all season, and now we are officially here. I know the boys are going to be ready, and don't get me wrong, I am extremely excited about this. But man, this is going to be stress city. It's going to be so nerve-wracking to watch these games. And you already know that the post-game videos are going to be more animated than ever. To all the fellow Canucks fans out there, all that I will say to you is enjoy it, and whatever happens, happens. Even though we are not going to be accepting any form of a loss as an outcome. But anyways, man, I'll see you then. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe if you're new. Peace out, and take care.